So here's the thing. If you are earning $100,000 per year at your job, right, and you're W-2, know that that company has bought you at wholesale and it's only at retail. And so, look, if they're paying you hundred k hypothetically in this example, that means you're probably generating about $300,000 in revenues, three times what they're paying you. Because at the end of the day, the employee is the biggest expense to any company, right? And so one of the lessons that I try to impart to new entrepreneurs is simply this. Before you quit your job, before you walk away from the W-2, make sure you are earning three times an excess because you are still an expense even to your own business. And there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be ebbs and flows. I know what it's like to earn a dollar in one month. I know what it's like to gross 30K in one month. And that's just the reality of entrepreneurship sometimes. And I think it's one of the biggest errors that individuals make. I'm just a firm believer that you need to be earning a million dollars in revenues before you even begin to pay yourself what I call a grown adult income, six figures plus. Because if you're not doing that, man, you're just one disability away. You're one sickness away. You're one family law issue away. You're one lawsuit away. You're one traumatic incident, accident, however you want to characterize it away from some serious drama taking place. And I know it may sound flippant because, of course, most entrepreneurs will never earn that type of money. But I'm speaking to the individuals who actually are aspirant to do so, right? You want to pay yourself six figures. You want to pay your seven, seven figures. You want to scale a business that has capacity to do that. This is the type of mindset you need to adopt and have. Um, if you're going to build a business, it's going to provide you that type of lifestyle. And it's just something that individuals just don't take into account. I mean, there's so many other factors too. I mean, lawsuits, all the other um, operational expenses associated with operating a business. Most people just aren't aware of that. And so you have a lot of individuals who are earning 100K in their business and they're paying themselves 80K and they're wondering why their business isn't scaling. Well, if your business is earning 100K, and I really, I'm indifferent as it relates to the business model. If you're not investing in scaling your business, if you're not investing in operations, if you're not investing a significant amount of money and growing your business to the point where it truly becomes independent of you and you know, let me also touch this too as well, because a lot of people are on some where I want to build something passively. Look, there's nothing passive about entrepreneurship. Even if you're no longer involved in the day-to-day -day sales or day-to-day -day operations, you're always going to be involved in the day-to-day -day leadership. You're always going to be involved in the day-to-day, -day, you know, process of creating environments or opportunities for others. You're never, ever really detached from a business. Um, unless, I mean, we're talking about really scaling in a major way, Right about scaling businesses where the brand becomes much bigger than even the founder. Um, and if you aspire to that, that's okay too, but I'm just giving you a little bit of real talk, giving you a little bit um, of insight in terms of what really needs to happen on a ground level when you're starting out, when you're growing from that team of me to a team of we, and then it's really time to scale the business. So I had this conversation earlier with an entrepreneur today, and um, it was enlightening because <laughs> the person really wasn't aware uh, what was required she you know was at a point where you know because she was earning maybe 130 percent of the income that she was accustomed with her job it was time to jump ships like no don't do that i promise you that's not the move right wait until it's so painful wait until it's so costly to work at that job that you just can't do anymore it just doesn't make any sense right and usually that's when you're earning three times what you're earning at the jlb right if there's a dollar and 50 cents on the table please take both right if there's a dollar and 50 cents, you have a choice. You don't have to take the dollar. You don't have to take the 50 cents. You can take both. And that's what I encourage individuals to do. So as always, look, sharing is caring. If this resonates with you, like the video, let the algorithm know that um, I'm bringing information that's valuable and uh, helpful. And of course, I love comments. I eat them up like Skittles. Celebrate success in advance. Goodbye for now.